Alright guys, welcome to another episode. We was on our way home and I've never fished this creek. It's a very small creek, but the last two miles before it hits the Mississippi, it starts getting some decent logs. And I got to thinking, white bass may migrate up here. I don't see why they wouldn't. It's real clear. And I've already been told by a buddy that it's packed full of saugers. Boy, it's just absolutely beautiful creek, man. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here. It's one of the lesser known. Boy, this is deep and nice looking, man. It don't look bad at all. I think there is gonna be some white bass in here by the looks of it. bass migrated up here. I'm telling you, we're only one mile from the Mississippi River right here. Why wouldn't it happen? Look how big it is. They got us in here and saw it. Oh my God, I got something big, Wilma, real big. Oh, what do I got? Spotted bass. Mean mouth. It might be a mean mouth. Sure looks like a mean mouth. Yeah, that's a mean mouth. Sure is, look at the cheeks. That's a dead giveaway, the cheeks have the brown. Guys, nice, cool catch. It's not a big white bass like I was hoping. He sure fought hard, but it's a mean mouth. That's something different, kind of cool. Small guy, but it is a mean mouth. Heck yeah. Little mean mouth. Oh, I thought I had something big though. He fought hard. Guys, this is just really freaking awesome along here. I can't even zoom out enough. It is a, it's just a clay bluff. But man, it is cool. This is a nice little creek. But it only remains this cool for a short period of time. You're entering the lowlands right here. Like I said, it's a really tiny stream. It's just this fall line section is really good. That's why I caught that mean mouth. Wow. All right, let's see if I can get on something. This is a big long hole through here. Real narrow, but it's real deep because of that being straight up and down. It's not a real easy creek to walk. Right here, starting down there, it changes a lot. You're getting, like I said, it's a very short, but this hole should contain white bass. No reason why they shouldn't be in here. Mean mouth, nothing. This place is just so cool and unique. It just, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I love that bluff. And that comes down and there's a ford right here. Really neat. Hoping to get something out. Preferably a white bass or a song. We are now about one mile from the Mississippi, so this is bound to start changing. And right here is nothing. Bottom and just change that fast. This 
stream will just completely be a different stream. Have a car now just back up and just calm. It's amazing how quick these rivers can change on you. And this has got to be one of the most drastic examples that I can think of is right here. Because I've looked at it on satellite photos. It changes not much around this corner down here. So I'm hoping this hole I'm seeing in front of me is really big and deep. I have no idea. I won't know till I get up here. That's really all I can hope for. That's big and deep. Boy, this water feels good. Alright guys, got my first white bass of the season. Of any size really. Oh my, it's a big female too. Oh my gosh. Yes. Not a bad white bass. Look at that guys. Heck yeah. Well, that's what I came here for. Boy, talk about a beautiful spot. white bass number two believe it or not that rapid i was just at i thought i would catch 20 or 30 below there it looked that good and i caught that one on the first throw and was never able to, to beat that i just got another one he's about the same size about 13 maybe 14 nice white bass here man that's a nice one they're decent bass guys on the very last day of my vacation been trying for them all week and never had a chance finally on the way home i pulled over to a creek i've never fished and catch white bass how ironic he's got snail larvae on him see all the black dots not a bad white bass that's a female gonna catch a white bass on a bobber very rarely what I would do way better with is a crankbait but I don't have them with me you know where I got them in? way over there watch way in that I told 
you I was right though. I knew they'd be in here. Now I caught two. I just missed one. That was definitely a white bass. Got him. Yes. Missed another one. Got him. Oh, I'm fucking hung. Oh, you got me, kid. Oh, I got it. Yes, you do. You got a white bass, man. Awesome. That Wilma got a first white bass on the first throw on him with a lure, guys. I'll get a picture of you. Good job. These are all nice ones in here. They're not bad, are they? I'll take them. anyway I think they are males but I'll take them down a little right there good job honey
yeah, these are, some of these are females, without a doubt. Boy, he was man. White bass number six for me. They just go in spurts. One minute you won't catch any for 10, 15 minutes. And then all of a sudden you're catching them again. These are some nice whites. Three of the really big ones are small females. I think they're, I think they're just small males. I guess. Until next time, you know what to do. Nice little hole, that's for sure. Beautiful place. Alright guys, you take care.